Let's talk about the partition node. The partition node is located in the field ops palette. This node allows you to split your data set into several subsets of data so that you can build your model on a training data set. You can then test that model on a testing data set. And finally, you can validate that model on a validation data set. As an example, you can use the partition node so that you end up creating a sample of data so that you can generate your model. And then you have a separate sample of data so that you can test it. And that way you can see if you have a model that will generalize. In the example that we have here, notice that we have one new field that we've created. It's called partition. And we have some people that are going to be in the training data set and other people that are going to be in the testing data set. And so now we'll be able to build a model on the training data set and we'll be able to test the model on the testing data set. Let's go through an example of how to use the partition node. We're going to go down to the field ops palette and we're going to connect our source node to a partition node. We're going to edit the partition node. Now the partition node is used to generate a partition field that's going to split your data either into a training data set and a testing data set or a training, testing, and validation data set. Then that's going to allow you to build your model on the training data set and then you use a separate sample, the testing data set for example, to then test your model to see how well your model results actually generalize to new data. So let's talk about the options that we have here. Notice that we first have to specify the name of the new field that we're going to create. It's going to be called partition. You can change that to something else if you'd like. You then have to specify whether you want to use a train and a testing data set or a train test and validation data set. We're going to go with the first option, which is the, typically the more common option. The next thing you need to do is you need to specify what percentage of the data is going to go into each one of the two groups. The default 50-50 is used a good amount of the time, but sometimes people end up using as much as a 70-30 split. If you don't use 50-50, you generally want to have a larger amount of the data go to the training data set. We're going to leave it at 50-50. At this point, we're just going to click OK. And we're going to go down to the output palette, and we're going to connect the partition node to a table, just so we can take a look at what we have. We'll run the table. We'll scroll over to the end of the file, and notice that we created one new field. It's called partition and it specifies those people that are going to be in the training data set and those people that are going to be in the testing data set. Now when we end up building the model, the model will recognize the partition field and it will end up building a model on the training data set and then it's going to test the model on the testing data set. So if we close out of this window and we go down to the modeling palette, we can connect the partition node to any model, for example the regression model and I'm just going to edit the regression model and notice that it has the default option to use partition data so that's how the model knows exactly what to do now let me close out of this window and let's edit the partition node so we can take a look at some other options the two groups that we're going to create like I said they're going to be the in this case the training and the testing data set we could have chosen a validation group as well, in which case we would have clicked on the second option. These are going to be the labels and the values for each one of those different groups. We could change those if we'd like. You could also specify that you don't want to use the default uh, labels. You could also use the labels as the values, or you could use system-defined values, 1, 2, and 3, for example. Now, because you are randomly generating who's going to go into each one of these different groups, you generally want to set a seed so that you end up selecting the same people in each group every time you rerun this node. So those are the other options that are available when you're using the partition node. We'll click OK.